In this tutorial, I want to quickly demonstrate how we can include error bars in an Excel graph. So, for example, we have some samples here, seven samples, and we measure some data here as well, uh, according to these samples, and we've got some positive and negative error. And what we actually uh, want to achieve is that we want to include these error bars. So let's say we've got here our measurement and we want to have some error bars that look like that. These error bars indicate some kind of variability and we need to state what variability we measure. It could be the precision or imprecision rather of our measuring tools. It could be a standard deviation. It could be the minimum or maximum of uh, some uh, sample measurements. It could be a confidence interval. So there are lots and lots of uh, options how we express this uh, variability. And uh, it's therefore absolutely mandatory to state in the legend to the graph uh, what we have measured. So uh, anyway, we want to have these error bars. So this here, that would be the positive error. So that's the positive error. This one here would be the negative error. So how are we going to do that? Well, it's uh, fairly simple. Um, so we head over to insert. We want to have a graph. So I highlight the sample and the data. And we would usually choose a scatter plot. So here we would go to scatter plot under data under insert. So here we've got our data. We could, of course, here now uh, label the axes. So this would be here uh, whatever we measured. So this would be the data here. And here we would have the sample number. Sample number. And uh, obviously we've got our data points here. And now we want to insert the error bars. So how can we do that? We right click on one of these points so that they are all highlighted. And first of all, we need to go to chart design. So here under chart design, We've got highlight of these data points. So we can go in the top left hand corner under add chart elements. And we can add error bars. So it comes up uh, with different options. And we want to have more error bars because our error bars are sort of uh, specific, are custom error bars. And that is exactly what we are clicking on here. So we click on custom error bars. And now we need to specify the values. So the program asks us for the positive error bar. So with this highlighted, I keep the left mouse button clicked and pull the mouse down. And we see that we've got a whole range here now for the positive error bar. Now for the negative error bar, we do exactly the same. Left mouse button clicked and pull down. And again, we've got this range here. So click OK. So we've got error bars. Now we've got um, vertical as well as horizontal error bars. We don't want the horizontal error bars. So we just simply left mouse click one of them 
and click the backspace or delete button. And now we've got our error bars. And we see here for sample one, we've got an error of four negative, four positive. Our sample two has a smaller error. Uh, sample five has a very large error, as we can see. And of course, we can modify the uh, error bars here. Uh, so, for example, we can go here to this bucket and uh, increase the width of the error bars. So we make them a little bit stronger so that we can easily see them. So here, nice error bars. And of course, we then can modify uh, the error bars. For example, if we found that our confidence interval is slightly smaller, then we can change that here. And it also does not necessarily need to be a symmetric error bar. So if I, for example, change this to two, then we would end up with an asymmetric uh, error. So here, smaller error in the negative and a larger error in the positive variability. So this is how you can easily include error bars into any Excel graph. We had a uh, scatter plot, but you can do the same thing with, for example, bar charts or with uh, linear regression or whatever uh, plot you are choosing to uh, show. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.